What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm assuming you guys went ahead and you clicked on this video because just like me, you own a high mileage BMW. And just like most owners of high mileage cars, you want your car running reliably. You want the car looking aesthetically as good as possible. And on top of that, you want it to last as long as it can. So you guys guessed it. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top five tips for a high mileage BMW. So with all that being said, the very first tip I can give to you guys is to definitely, definitely, definitely keep up with your car's maintenance. So when it comes to your car's maintenance, you definitely want to be proactive with things. So what I mean by this, you definitely want to be doing your oil changes on time and using the proper oil as well as the proper quality oil filter. Because as the oil is literally the bloodline of your engine, this is going to be the best way to ensure that your engine lasts as long as it possibly can. A really good rule of thumb to follow is to change your oil roughly every 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers and you only ever want to change it with the recommended manufacturer oil that the car is suggested for. So after that, the next step is definitely going to have to be to do some carbon cleanup on your car. So as these cars tend to become higher mileage, carbon deposits always end up building around the internals of the engine. So a buildup of these carbon deposits can hurt your fuel economy, it can hurt your power output, and on top of that, also make your car feel less responsive. And I also know carbon deposits are extremely notorious on direct injected turbocharged engines, so anything like the B58, the N55, or the N54. And it's also recommended that from the dealership, you also get a walnut blasting done every 80 to 100,000 kilometers, which is a really good way to clean out all the carbon deposits that are built up in the engine. Another good suggestion is to go out and get your engine flushed. This is going to be a really good way to remove any debris or sludge that would be sitting in the oil pass of your engine. Another good thing to do is to go ahead and get a fuel system cleaning done as well as a fuel injector cleaning done. So from what I know, there's actually a bunch of brands out there that sell solutions for these particular things that you want to do to your car. And from my personal experience, the only ones I can really suggest is either from Seafoam or Liquid Molly. So with all that being said, the next tip I have for you guys is to take care of small issues before they become a bigger issue. So let me give you guys an example of this. Some of the best examples I could do are in terms of oil leaks. So if your car, say for example, has a leaking valve cover gasket, if the oil leaks out of that valve cover gasket and you initially notice it, but you don't go ahead and do it and you let it get worse, it'll eventually start leaking onto the headers of the car and eventually catch fire. And then you're basically done for. If your whole car catches fire, it's, it's definitely not a good situation. Another really good example of this, I know a lot of the E90s suffer from this issue as well as I think a lot of the F-Series cars, but if you have a bad oil filter housing gasket and the oil starts to leak from the oil filter housing gasket, it tends to leak down from the front of the engine onto the belt which then causes the belt to slip, which then the belt rips apart and gets sucked to the engine, which then causes the engine to be a complete write-off. So basically from a small little leak off of the oil filter housing gasket, which could have been fixed way before the engine would have been toast, was now left behind and now is the main reason why the engine is not fixable anymore. Do you guys see what I'm getting at? You basically just want to be extremely proactive when it comes to things like this, when it comes to your car's engine. Because in the moment, something can look really small and you feel like you leave it behind and just forget about it, but eventually it'll catch up and it'll cause bigger damage than what it initially was. All right, guys, so with that being said, the next tip we have is to keep your car in good overall shape. So what I mean by this, you definitely want to make sure that you're washing the car regularly and also waxing the car. Wax is actually a really good layer of protectant on top of the car's paint already. If you guys also want to go a step further, you could go ahead and get the car ceramic coated or PPF. And another good thing about washing the car regularly is that if you guys live in a cold climate, washing the car is actually a really good way to help keep the salt off your car's paint, which and thus will keep the car from rusting or rusting as fast at least. You also want to try your best and make sure that you keep the car in a garage as much as you possibly can because leaving the car exposed to the elements over the years will actually make a quite considerable of a difference to how the car looks. You also want to try your best to make sure that the interior is clean as you possibly can because over time, if you leave a car's interior dirty, it'll actually lead to long-term stains and long-term smells that are stuck inside the car. All right, guys, so the next tip is definitely gonna have to be to follow your car's maintenance rule book, which is usually found in the car's owner's manual. So depending on what car you have, the maintenance rule book actually varies between what needs to be done a certain amount of kilometers or miles. And having this rule book handy is gonna be a really good way on predicting on what type of maintenance your car is gonna need in the near future. And one of the good thing about these handbooks is that it also shows you on how to do the maintenance yourself. And with all that being said, the very last tip I have for you guys is to do not use cheap aftermarket parts. So this tip is pretty self-explanatory, of course, when you go ahead and you want to fix something and you know what finally what's wrong on your car and the part you have to replace there's obviously a lot of options you can go with there's the cheap end and obviously the more expensive end which is usually like the oem or the oem plus brands and guys i'm telling you when you go ahead and you buy a cheap one there's a reason it's cheap it's because it's built cheap that part is most likely not going to last you nearly as long as what the oem part would or the oem plus part would and guys i can promise you there's nothing more annoying than going ahead and replacing something and getting it fixed and then just literally two months down the line the same issue occurs because of the cheap part you put in. So just save yourself a headache and go ahead and pick up the better quality branded ones because if you guys think about it, if you go ahead and you pick up a cheap quality part that fails two months down the line and you end up having to buy another one, 
that's gonna end up costing the same price as getting the OEM Plus brand one, which will last you years. So you're basically just better off getting the OEM equivalent brand, or in best case, the OEM brand itself. But one recommendation I'll give you guys is to go ahead and just do your research on the specific brand you're about to pick up to replace whatever you wanna replace on your car, just to make sure that's a good quality brand and it'll last you. But so other than that, that's gonna be my top five reasons on how to make your car run more reliably and last longer, especially for my high mileage BMW owners. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you can just leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer. And if you guys wanna check out my car, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it right here. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See